Hey, what's going on? We're in Blade and Sorcery here. I like using Blade and Sorcery for a tracking demo because there's a mirror in this game and I can show you how I can grab things behind my uh, shoulder and we can see where the Quest 3 tracking um, cuts off and, and, and how that works. Uh, just to show you that I am in the Quest 3. Let's see. Quest 3 controllers here. Um, so, yeah. Using stop to do this uh, recording. Um, so we are doing PC VR with this, and uh, and so far I'm noticing zero latency, just like normal with the Quest Pro. But anyway, let's really focus on the tracking. That's the purpose of this video here. So I'm going to take these controllers and I'm going to do uh, a few hand movements behind my back, and we'll see if we lose tracking. Uh, we're going to do the same thing on the Quest Pro, just to show that the Quest Pro will not lose tracking, uh, because as you potentially know. These controllers are tracked by the headset, um, the Quest 3 controllers. The Quest Pro controllers track themselves, they have little cameras on them, and they fully track themselves so they don't need to even have a line of sight to the headset cameras. But here we are on the Quest 3, and if I put my hand behind my back, and I move it around, and we've lost tracking. <laughs> it took about uh, uh, one second there for it to go away. Now that is to say, I can definitely grab this sword just fine off my back, and I can put it back. Totally fine. It does have a little bit of predictive uh, tracking that it's going to do, um, but when I leave my hand here, I've lost it. There it goes. Totally lost. And now it's just doing kind of this. I, I'm I'm just holding my my hand right behind this ear, and I'm just twisting it. So my hand should be right here. It's right behind my ear. I'm just twisting it, but you can see it's doing some big radius. It's moving around a lot. Totally lost that tracking. It is knowing that I'm moving it, but not exactly where I'm moving it. When I bring it back into the field of view, which will happen right about here, boom, it snaps, and we're back into tracking mode. Let me do it behind the back as well. You can see here I'm behind the back, and we've lost tracking. I'm definitely not doing that with my arms. I don't know if that's possible to do that with your arms. I'm holding it direct. I can't even show you what I'm actually doing. My one hand is directly behind my back. Actually, both of them are directly behind my back, and it is just going crazy. It doesn't know where my hands are. Obviously, they are behind my back. It can't do the tracking. But when I pull them back into sight of the headset, boom, right about here, they came back into tracking. I'm right here, and that's actually pretty far back. That's pretty far back that it is tracking. I'm not trying to cover up these, these controllers at all. I'm not trying to obscure the face of the controller or anything, which does have some lights on it. This is fine. You could do this. You could do... You could floss if you really wanted to, and that seems to work totally fine. It does that little predictive tracking for a second, and you can do it, so it works um, pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty impressed at the tracking ability of these controllers. They seem to be working pretty well because of the, the ring. Not having the ring... Oh, there we go. We lost tracking on my left hand and the right hand. There, they're gone. But we bring it back into view. Here we are. There's your tracking demo for the Quest 3. Let's also check out Field of View. Just want to see how it compares to the Quest Pro. When we talk about Field of View, I'm wearing the headset at the closest setting. I am wearing glasses, but on the closest setting, so I'm as close to the lens as you can feasibly get with the default um, face gasket. I'm going to go stand over here at the center of this rug, exact center of this rug. My feet will be right on there, and I'm going to face this wall looking at the direct center of that map there, the rec center of that map, and I will show you that I can see out to here, out to here is where I can see, so I can pretty much see the corner of this wall right here, if I stand on this dot, and look at that, I can pretty much see that corner, and I can see a little bit into this doorway over here, I can see pretty much to this edge of this doorway. Uh, one thing to note as well, the haptics of the Quest 3 are okay, they're fine. The controller haptics are fine. Let me just confirm that again by standing here, looking directly at the center of the map. Yep, I can see the corner, and I can see a little bit into the doorway. It's a little bit into the doorway here, like maybe a couple inches, two inches over into the doorway. So that is what we can see. And we're going to test this out in Quest Pro in just a second, and we'll see how it compares with tracking and with the field of view. Oh, I should do a vertical field of view as well, shouldn't I? From the same place, looking at the direct center of the map, I can see down to here. So, about one, one and a half tiles away from the edge of the rug. If I'm looking straight there, oh no, actually it's much, much farther out than that. It's out to here. 
And so it took one, two, three tiles. If I look straight there. Yeah, it's three tiles out, I can see. And if I look up, I can see this beam here. The one, two, third beam. And so that's actually pretty easy to remember. Right in the center. If I look right there, I can see one, two, three. And I can see... It's like two and a half. Two and a half. So let's go ahead and get the Quest Pro on. Alright, and now we are back in here. We are in the Quest Pro this time. Let me confirm and show you that I am the Quest Pro. I... Oh, here you can see the Quest Pro controllers. And again, we are using Steam VR. I didn't even stop the session. I am still in the same session. So I'll go back to VR. And we are in the Quest Pro. Immediately, going back and forth like this, from one to the next, immediately I can tell you the black levels and the contrast that I am seeing is hugely different. The darkness of these shadows and the darkness of the wood and everything is much deeper in the Quest Pro here. Um, but let's start out reverse. Let's go and do the field of view test and then we'll do our tracking test um, just to compare. Another thing I will mention, <laughs> I had this Quest Pro on, the one I'm currently wearing, for about two hours before this. I watched Survivor on my Quest Pro. My wife was watching on the couch. I was watching the Quest Pro. We were both watching Survivor. It was, it was nice. Um, and I wore the Quest Pro just to kind of see how it felt after a couple hours in direct comparison to the Quest 3. Uh, Quest 3. And then after that, I did the dishes wearing the Quest Pro watching Netflix. Never an issue with comfort. I'm putting it back on. It feels great. I was happy to get the Quest 3 off my face because it's just back to that forward-facing weight pulling down. Obviously that can be definitely helped with a better head strap for the Quest 3. I would highly recommend you get a better Quest 3 head strap if that is the route you are going, but I will say the Quest Pro is so comfortable. It's so nice once you get locked in and you know um, you know how to wear it for your own um, for your own purposes or your own, uh, your own comfort level. Let's go check out the field of view and then we'll come back and do our controller tracking. So as we did a moment ago, we stood right here on the center and where did my sword go. I guess I threw my sword when I left the uh, Quest 3. I don't know where it went. I guess I threw it, but I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. And we are, again are going to stand right here in the center. We are going to look at our um, center of our map. I can see... Hold on. I'm right here, right in the center. Look at the center of our map. You can see all the way out to here. So this is where I saw on the Quest 3. I can see out to here on the Quest Pro. I feel like I'm in the wrong spot. Am I in the right? Oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like to here. So pretty much the same here on Quest 3. Maybe I'm just looking slightly off. Not quite exactly the center. Let me try again. Make sure I'm not back any extra. I'm seeing out to here. That's where I on the Quest 3, it was up right at the corner. And then likewise, I, I do this again here and look straight forward. I can see to there. I mean, yeah, I'm pointing like here. It's hard to, I don't know, convey that I'm doing this in a, I don't know, in a way to show you exactly what I'm seeing. But now let's do our vertical field of view. Again, looking straight forward. If I look up, I can't quite see this. I can't quite see that third one. One, two, three. Remember on the Quest 3, I can see that third one just fine. I stand here and look right at the map. Oh, I can only see one, two, and a half. I can almost see that third bar. I can almost see it. But not quite. If I'm looking straight forward. I can see out to here. Yeah, that's that's one, two. Vertical is potentially a little more vertical on the Quest 3. I think the Quest 3 has the Quest Pro beat in the vertical field of view where I could definitely see that third bar up there and I could see down to about two, maybe two and a half. Quest Pro is just barely starting to see the, the first part of that third bar, more like two and a half of these horizontal beams and then definitely out to like two, two and a half years. So so I think Quest 3 maybe is a little more field of view on the width and, and maybe a little tiny less on, I'm sorry, on the height of it. A little more on Quest 3 and a little more on Quest Pro with. It's overall pretty pretty similar, not crazy different. I would not say that, that buying the Quest 3 is worth it to get bigger field of view. Compared to Quest 2, yes. Compared to Quest Pro, Quest Pro, no. Okay, now let's try our tracking. Let's see how tracking compares. Another thing I will mention again, just doing PC VR, 
I am noticing zero change in the the quality of the um, visual, the latency that I'm feeling, the quickness of the response. It's the same Quest 3 versus Quest Pro for me right now. I'm not noticing any difference. Um, potentially that will get better on Quest 3 because it does have better hardware. It does have better wireless abilities. But for me right now, with the hardware that I have with my home network, both are working absolutely wonderfully. No issues. Um, as mentioned, though, the Quest Pro does have the better visuals in terms of the black levels and the, the contrast that I'm seeing. So that's actually really nice. Okay, here's our tracking, just like I did before. Put my hands behind my head on the Quest Pro, and that's pretty much exactly what I'm doing. I'm flipping my hands back and forth. They are back there. They're not losing the tracking at all. And if I put them behind my back here, that's... <laughs> Whoa, what? why did I make a weird noise with my mouth? That was weird. I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. And this shouldn't be any surprise. This shouldn't be any surprise to anybody with the Quest Pro because the headset never sees the controllers. The headset never sees them. It doesn't do any tracking from the headset. These controllers are fully tracked on their own. Fully tracked on their own when we are talking about Quest Pro. But I think the Quest 3 tracking was wonderful. I think it worked really well. But the Quest Pro fully tracked on its own, okay? Do the Macarena. I think that's not great, something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video, and let me know anything else you want to see. Quest Pro versus the Quest 3, and even the Pico 4. If you want to see Pico 4 or compared to Quest 2, just let me know. Thanks for being here. Take care, and uh, yeah, have a good one.